Hello my friends, welcome to the lab. Today we have a sick patient over here. So yeah, I don't know what it looked to you, but this is um, rear wiper motor for Subaru Outback 2006-2008 or 2005-2008 model line or 2010. I don't know actually, but 2006 for sure. So uh, it's not working. So it's not moving the uh, the the wiper itself. So this thing is very rusty. So I assume there was some ingression of water in this block, and that's why it's scrapped out. But I'm not sure if this motor, motor is operational. So today we're gonna take it apart and take a look what the hell is happening. First of all, we need to figure out if this motor is working. If motor is working, we have to take a look at the gears, because this is not just just the gears and stuff like that. It's also should be a switch when we make um, a switch which actually detects the position of the wiper like left or right and then no if it's parked left or parked right and things like that so we have to see if this is the case all right so what we have here we have a connector for some reason these four things one of them is ground and three others i have no bloody idea uh, probably some control circuits like you know uh, go fast or go just once, you don't know, whatever, once in five seconds or something like that. Um, you have some electrical contacts over here. So it looks like, oh, okay, I see now. So those three looks like they are responsible for a, like a positioning. And those two just uh, switching on the motor, right? Because the green one goes straight from here, right? And the blue one, I know blue, uh, the, the black one is. It's kind of funny because this definitely motor is uh, is polarized, not AC motor, so it's like green and black. Um, yeah, I would use some proper colors, but whatever. All right, so this look, looks like it's a motor um, housing, and this is look like it's a gear housing. So we have a whole bunch of screws here. Let's open them up, uh, and they are. Tough. Okay, after like persuasion and then at the end of story brute force I was able to get in. You see this guy? This is very stubborn guy over here. It seized so badly I couldn't do anything except just like drill it out and then chisel it off. Anyways, we are in. It so looks like this is just the case when all this screwed in and obviously the most interesting things are happening over here. And um, uh, okay, so what we have, we have a worm gear which actually rotates this big gear then all this uh, turns into like, oh, forgot the English term, into the linear motion, rotating motion turns into linear motion then uh, this has a rake and this rake rotates goes over this gear and and this is uh, where it actually moves the um, how you call it uh, wiper but looks like I think this is actually looks pretty good this is not nothing seized here so I suspect the following I suspect that this dude oops I suspect this dude just seized for good. Yep. Mm, mm, yeah. Yeah. This is is for good. Unless it no, I don't think this is this is very it's like it's yeah. So this this thing is seized. Not sure if I would be able to actually do anything about it, but what I can do if I try to pull this out nicely. Okay. So I pull this out. And now I have to make sure <laughs> I don't know if it's indexed or not. I'm gonna have to make sure that um, I will put it back in the same orientation. Okay, so I decided to mark uh, little notches on the wheel and on the wall just then I would be able to uh, when I assemble it back together I will I'm not sure if this is important but who bloody knows like I don't know how this thing operates I rather mark it and then then be sorry later Ugh, how to take it out not being all greased up okay aha uh -huh. mm hmm Okay, that's what we have. So this is, yeah, this is obviously indexing, indexing 
uh, contacts over here and they're obviously responsible for uh, switching on and off. This is all good and dandy, there is nothing wrong here. Okay, the only last piece of, you know, gear just to double check is the motor. Let me get some power and let's see if motor is okay. I also unscrewed this top thing. And I'm not sure how it's supposed to come out. It doesn't come in out. Hmm. Ah, I just like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just like that. Wow, it's everything is so complicated here. The polarity is bloody unknown, but I assume the black one was attached to the to the case and that's probably negative so this one is supposed to be negative so i have this have this turnigy you know uh three cell battery which 11 point something volt should be okay let's see oh yeah yeah oh yeah That's it. Yeah, motor works. All right, so we know that our electrical part is fine. Switching here looks actually perfect. The problem is, is this dude. The problem is this dude. Uh, so, I guess we have to figure out how to take this apart. And let's take a look what we can do. I don't know what the hell is this. Uh-huh. Okay, well, this is bad news. Because essentially this means it's actually pressed in. If this thing is pressed in, I have no idea how... I don't know if this rubber gasket or it's plastic thing. It's plastic. Not sure what, car, what kind of brute force I would have to do in order to in, in order to actually uh, get this out. I'm not hundred percent sure. But guys, believe me, it was actually moving. It was I was held. I was it was not completely seized. When I turned the motor, I was able to actually like with my help of a hand, uh, with help my like I was helping it. It was actually going. But this now, so it's like hundred percent seized. Jeez, like I mean, I'm not sure what happened with it, but um, yeah, this is like dead. Hmm. I'll try to hammer it a little bit, maybe it will loosen up, or I'm not sure if I would be able to hammer it like out that way. Who knows, there is some plasticky thing over here. Uh, clearly, but it could be just like it was inserted, then this gear was inserted, and it was just uh, pressed in, that's it, like game over, I wasn't able to do anything. Let me play with it a little bit. Whoa, that's getting to be a whole story, but I was able to press out this little dude. As you see, it's quite a bit rusted all the way through here. That kind of sucks, so I have to clean this all schmoo up. Then, um, uh, you know, clean this up as much as possible because there's no, there's no bearing. This is like just a freaking, like just, just a that just a hole and this shaft just rotates in it there's a little bit kind of um spe special um probably for lubrication and this is where rust kind of stopped and there was uh, some lube in there and that's pretty much it so and there was some kind of plastic little plastic if you remember a retainer over here and it was that, that's the only thing was covering uh, the, the, uh, the separating the elements from um, from these insides. So obviously I have to do a lot of cleaning in order to actually uh, make sure this works but because 
um, I mean, this this is all right. This is all right. The gears are all right. Everything rotates nicely, but I have to clean up all this. And after I clean up all that, I'll put it all together and we double check how this thing works. But it will be some work involved. And thanks to P Bluster, which uh, I was able to kind of inject a little bit in inside here and the all sides, it's all going to be in P Bluster over here. I have to clean all this mess up now instincts hate it but it works so yeah all my hands are dirty everything is dirty how is this kind of messy uh, but that's what we have so I don't know what kind of idiot come up with this um, solution uh, not having any any sort of indent over here and a specific uh, rubber gasket over here in order to protect it yes mind you there is a gasket in between uh, essentially it's outside the car it 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 goes like the 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 wiper arm goes in here then there is a rubber gasket but that gasket is a joke it's just like to protect like big chunks of dirt to come in here but that's pretty much it i'm actually lucky that dirt didn't come or the, the rust didn't come all the way in here and mess it up all these insides anyways this is it for now i'll probably continue this it's gonna be uh, probably in one video i don't want to like separate it in two separate videos so let me clean this all up lubricate this is all nicely put it all together and we'll see how that works okay my friends looks like we have a success i was able to pull this guy out of of this casing and um, as I mentioned I tried to clean it up now I'll try to put it all together so I got this little bit of automotive grade schmoo which I'm gonna I also cleaned up this shaft as much as I could scratched it a little bit but who cares I'm gonna apply as much as this grease as possible as, especially in this area and sort of like protect protect this and I obviously when I'm gonna install it I'm gonna apply as much this of the schmooze I don't even know what is this um, as much as possible okay so now we have to by the way this nylony kind of thing is very and it's just I just did a mistake but anyways you still need lubrication there this nylony kind of thing is pretty tough plastic it's probably very strongly reinforced nylon or something like that Okay, reapply a lot and liberal. Okay, this goes in here. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's perfect. All right, I will deal with this a bit later. Uh, so, no, it doesn't have to be shoe here, but you put some right in this cap but kind of curious why did they actually do this all right now we have to reinstall this particular wheel back and good i made the little you know notches i think it's supposed to go nope it's not going this way now i'm not afraid to actually get all dirty because first of all i forgot the spring so this springy thing supposed to go in here okay and that's how it's supposed to be somewhere right here okay so that slider goes in here Just like that. Take a look at this. Okay, this shmoo is okay. Maybe add a little bit more to have it more shmoonier. Shmoo is everywhere. It's perfect. So, what can we do now? It's just kind of jumping out. We can try to power it and see how it operates, or we can actually seal it and also add some shmoo in the perimeter just to make sure it's not gonna. It's not gonna kind of rust not gonna get in especially when I actually missing one screw and I drill it out so sorry not drilled out I cut it out you drill it out I would be able to retop it or something but I cut it out okay so let's put this back at least lightly 
Okay, it's supposed to stay. Funny, it doesn't stay. Oh, it's all now. Doesn't stay because it moves. Now it can. I can put just some screws. Three instead of six. I'm not gonna tighten it up, but just... Ah, I should have used the motorized screwdriver of some sort, which I don't have. Which I failed to actually build. Okie dokie. Okay, just put it in here. I'm gonna schmoo all over here a lot. Right, so let's take our power source. Try to play with it. Ta da Okay, no, sorry. Take a look at this. It's actually pretty strong, obviously, when it's lubricated, it's... It's pretty... Quite torquey motor here. Okay. Okay, and one final test. After I assemble everything together, let's give it a shot. I even put some thingy to show how it rotates. That's pretty cool, and it worked. All right, guys, uh, I think this is successful repair. I'm not sure how much money I saved using, um, you know, using this one instead of uh, buying one, but I clearly spent more time than I would probably have to on it, but I did my best in order to bring my car to operation. Because, you know, when it's winter in Canada, it's really hard to actually see your front window, your side windows, your back window is all a card in ice and, uh, and salt and snow and whatever. So having operational rear wiper is quite important. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being with me through this repair. And if you have any ideas, suggestions, please comment, like and subscribe. See you next time. And here is some action shot for you. Have to hold it with my finger though. Isn't it awesome? I love it. Alright guys, thank you for watching. See you next time.